Hi! Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to show you all of my birds. I have 29 birds. That's right. I got 29 birds. I have a flock of birds and I want to show you each bird. There's some of you that are new to my channel don't know how many birds I have or what kind. So I want to show you that all in one video. And if you're new here, welcome. Make sure to subscribe so you can see more bird videos and pet videos as I have other pets as well. But today I want to show you two new species of birds that I have that I have not introduced to my channel yet. So make sure you stay tuned to see them. So I'm going to bring some of my tamer birds right here where I'm sitting now to show you where it's quiet because my uh, bird room was very noisy. I might do a voiceover in the, in the bird room because there's a lot of chittering and chirping and all kinds of noise in there. But we'll see how it goes. I'll start with the, the tamer birds first so you can see them all. Alright, so I'm going to go start with my first bird, so hang on. Alright, so this is the very first bird I'm going to show you. And his name, this is a male. His name is Kingsley and he's an Australian King Parrot. Now he is a male. He looks like a female right now because he's a baby. He's only six months old. So you see the red here? That's going to be all the way up here, all the way on his head. This is what females look like and uh, baby birds. And he's actually getting some red spots. I can see on his chest. So he's six months old. This is Kingsley. Say hi. He's actually fanning his tail because I got the ring light here and he loves the sun and the light. He thinks this is sun. So look at this. This is called a broad tail parrot. You see the tail, how thick it is? It's very wide. They got wide tail feathers. See how they fan it compared to other birds. They say uh, Indian ringneck, their tail is very slim and long. This is called a broad tail parrot, one of the broad tail parrots. But this is Kingsley, my Australian king parrot. So this is Electra, my Senegal parrot. She's a female, she is 11 years old, and she prefers men over female. She does have a small vocabulary. You know, she's one of my nastiest birds actually. To be honest with you, my Senegal is my nastiest. That's why I have her on this perch. I don't want to put her on my hand because she just might decide that hmm, she wants to bite my hand today. So I don't want to get uh, bitten today. I don't want to have a bloody hand. So anyways, I put her on this perch. And here she is. This is Electra, my Senegal parrot, 11 years old. And this is Marbles, my mustache parakeet. Marbles is five months old. Make sure you chew that. She sticks to swallow her food whole and then she starts uh, kind of choking. But uh, she's five months old and I did DNA her to find out that she was a female. I know you can wait till they're older because you can tell by their beak color. The males will have like a orange, orange beak and the female's beak will stay black. So she definitely is a female. Her beak will stay black and she will get like a, like a peach colored um, chest here. I'll show you a picture of her father. He was really beautiful. And um, so her colors are changing. She's just a baby now, so she's pretty, you know, the, the colors are dull. And uh, Marbles is a very smart bird. She knows how to spin. She waves. She gives me a high five. She, um, she comes to me. She flies to me. She'll scratch her face when I say scratch your face. And sometimes she'll do her wings. She'll open her wings. And she learns really quickly. I teach her every day. And... Um, she flies to me. She's learning now to go back to perch, so that's good. And I'm trying to get her to station, you know, where she's sitting, so she doesn't always fly to me. So she's a very, very smart bird, very nice bird, and she talks. She talks up a storm. She says almost everything I say. So she's a really good bird, a beautiful bird. She's like a medium-sized bird. Her tail's like thin and pointy, and her beak is a little bit smaller than the Senegal. But the beaks are always powerful, you know, in every bird, right? You want one? There we go. And, um, yeah, overall, so far, she's a really nice bird. All right, I'll get someone else now. All right, so here's a bird that I have not introduced on my channel yet. This is Nightwing. She is a female Java Sparrow 
or uh, sometimes called Java finch, Java sparrow, sparrow bird, uh, Java rice finch, and um, she was hand tame, hand fed. That's why she's sitting on my finger. But uh, isn't she cute? She's so pretty. She looks like a little penguin. I was gonna call her penguin. I don't want to move too quick because she might jump. But anyway, she's got little. See her cheeks. Little white cheeks and a black head. Little orange beak. See her tail. Tail's black. Look at the the body. The back it looks like porcelain, and the body is the gray on top, and underneath it's kind of like tan. Way underneath is like white. And um, these birds, they come in different color mutations. And anyways, they're beautiful birds. They look like porcelain. They're so, their feathers are so like, I don't know what you said, like close together that you can't even see their individual feathers barely. They just look like, like, like porcelain. They're so, so gorgeous. They want to say hello. Go say hello. So I called her Nightwing. Is that a cute name or what? Anyways, this is Nightwing. So I will go get to the next bird. So this is Starfire. Starfire is a beautiful, look at her, isn't she pretty? She's a beautiful turquoisine parakeet. She is a color mutation. The original colors are green. So she was bred for her color, but she's in like a Lutino, um, call a Lutino turquoisine. She's a grass parakeet, which means they're always on the ground grazing through the grass, the grass seeds. And um, she's very cute, very small, has a very, very cute little voice, not loud at all. Yeah, so she's uh, got like a red chest or like orange on belly, a belly, and the chest is yellow. And she got light blue on her forehead. Look at that. Is that gorgeous? And light blue on the wings. Now, though, if she was a male, the blue would be really bright. Like she's only six months old. She is six months old, so her colors are coming in a little bit more vibrant. But if she was a male right now, she would be like really blue, really, really nice and blue. She's a nice, like deep yellow. She's getting blue around her face. And um, I'm surprised she stepped up for me today because she doesn't normally step up a lot. She'll land on me. But she prefers just to be a bird and just to hang out and fly around my bird room. All right, so we're going to put you back now, Starfire, okay? Say goodbye. <laughs> okay, I'll get the next bird. And this is Sprinkles, my love bird. He loves to sit in my palm and he likes when I cover him up. He's so cute. He's a male. He's three years old. Do you want to show everybody your body? I'll show you him, but I hope it doesn't fly away. He just loves to cuddle in my hand. Isn't he pretty? Look at his back. His colors all are all even. He's a peach face, peach, a peach face lovebird. He doesn't have very much peach in his face, but he's a mutation. I believe he's a sea green uh, pied. He's a sea green pied. If you know, if you have lovebirds, you can tell me if, if I'm correct. And he says a few words too. He says, give me a kiss. And then he blows me a kiss and he says, thank you. I think that's the only words he says, you know, kiss, kiss and give me a kiss and some other little mumbling things. And he can copy my cockatiel and my budgie. He is so cute. So this is Sprinkles. Come here, sweetie. Oh. <laughs> he's very tame, very cute, very nice pets. He's very small, compact. You know, he's got a short tail. So there you go. So that's Sprinkles, my peach face lover. And this is Monty, my male cockatiel. He's a gray cockatiel split to pied. And you can see in his feet, he has like pied feet. So if you have babies with another cockatiel, I can't remember what color, but he can produce pied babies. He's 14, he'll be 15 in two months. He's a good whistler. So if you want a bird that whistles, get a cockatiel. Now cockatiels are dusty, so you have to be aware. If you have allergies, they're very dusty. So if you have allergies, don't get a cockatiel as they'll make your allergies worse. So this is Monty, he's 14 years old and he's a male and he's healthy now yay want to go get the other cockatiels okay i'll go get my other cockatiels and you can see them all right monty you want to go find the bird room okay let's go all right i'll go get my other two cockatiels yes there goes all the dust Oof. so these are my other two cockatiels this one's jingles he's 14 months old and this one is willow she's 13 months old they're a month apart they're not related they're from separate parents and Jingles here is a white face, a charcoal gray cockatiel. He lacks the orange spots on the cheeks. His face is all, all white. He's like a black and white TV. 
and uh, he's, he's very cute. And Willow here is a pearl pied, and she has the orange cheeks there. But they're not bright like a male. She has a lighter orange cheeks like in the females. She, look at her. She's beautiful, huh? See her markings? Very, very nice. You're a beautiful girl. Yep. Yep, they're most tame. They were hand-fed, hand-raised. And um, they step up and come to me and all that. They don't talk or anything. Now, female cockatiels are quiet in general. The males are always singing songs, singing, screaming. They make a lot of noise. But uh, if you're looking for a quiet bird, I recommend a female cockatiel. They rarely make any noise. Like I hardly hear her. She might just do a whoop, a dee -dee, a dee -boo. you can barely hear her. And and female cockatiels in general. So if you want a quiet bird, or if you have you know live in an apartment or townhouse where there's neighbors that don't like the noise, they won't even know you have one. <laughs> They're very quiet. But don't get a male if you don't like noise, right? Anyway, so there's Willow and Jingles. Did I say they're their age? I think I did. He's 14 months, she's 13 months, one month apart. So they're pretty young. So anyways, I'll go get the next bird. And these are my rosy bork parakeets. This one is Raspberry. He's four years old. This is Rascal. Come on, Rascal. Rascal's not as tame as him. This is Rascal. He's a year old, a year and a few months. Look at the pretty colors. So these are also mutation colors. The Bork parakeet is more brown, like the normal color. These are a mutation called the pink, the pink Bork or rosy Bork. And, well, I have other Borks upstairs. I have five all together, and one of them looks like, like the colors of the rainbow. So you just call them rainbow, rosy Borks. Or they're all rosy Borks, but they just got different colors. This one has a pink, a pink rump. It has a little bit of yellow in the feathers. This one's a male. This is Rascal. He's got yellow on the face too, like by his beak. And this is, um, he's got a little bit of yellow too, raspberry. But raspberry is really, really pink. These are lovely birds as well. They're very quiet. You hear that? Just little wee squeaks, little wee. They're not loud at all. They're not continuously chirping like a budgie or anything. So these are rosy board parakeets. I'll show you the other ones when we're in the bird room. If I can find them, they might be all just flying around. So I have five of them. All right, so I'll get my next bird. You go there. And you go there. There we go. All right, so I'll get my next bird. And this is Dazzle, my Goldie's Lurkey. Dazzle is five years old. He'll actually be six in about two months. And he's primarily a nectar-eating, fruit-eating bird. He does eat some vegetables. His drop-ins are like water. So they're very messy birds. If you want a Lurkey, they're really entertaining. They're fun. They're like the clown of the bird world. They're yeah, got their little funny guys. They're always on the go, always moving around, laying on their back, rolling around. He loves to take baths. And um, so they do got a high pitch like that call. So that's Dazzle, my Goldie's Lurkey. Okay, I'll get the next bird. And these are my two Linnies, also called a barred parakeet or a lineolated parakeet. This one is Nugget and that's Pickles. And Pickles is the female, he's the male. He's 11 years old and she's 10. Now Nuggy is a little bit crippled. He's got bad arthritis in his feet. That's why I'm holding him. And he's partially blind, almost almost all blind. He has cataracts and he had glaucoma in one eye, which is okay right now. Pickles is pretty healthy. The average life for one of the Linnies is around 12. I've you know heard about them living a lot longer. And um, they come in many colors. Pickles is the original color, is green, the wild color, and he's a cremino. This is a color mutation. They're very small. They almost look like a lovebird, but their beaks are smaller, their head is smaller. Almost the same size as a lovebird. A lot different personality than a lovebird. They're very um, more calmer, and um, I don't know, I can't describe it, but they're, they're just different than a lovebird. And they're not nippy like a lovebird either. Some lovebirds can be very nippy, they're not nippy. So anyways, I want to show you them. They're pretty small. They could fit in your hand. They're a little bit bigger than a parallette and better than a parallette. And parallettes are really <laughs> nippers. They don't really nip that much. So um, yeah, so that's it. So this is Nugget and that's Pickles, my uh, Linnies. All right, now I have another bird that I haven't shown on my channel yet. And I want to show you. Can you guess what it is? If you can hear it. Anyway, I want to show you. 
I just adopted, I have two of them now, and I just adopted this one like a week ago. I adopted them from someone who couldn't keep it anymore. And they're very, very rare in Canada. And it so happens that there was another one, and they're not related apparently, uh, to my other one. Now this one, um, the wings are already clipped. I didn't clip the wings. As you can see, all my birds have unclipped um, wings, right? The flight feathers. So this one's already clipped. <laughs> This one, oh, come here. Oh, you want to show her? You want to show your face? <laughs> right. Well, here she is, or he. I think this one's a female. Do you know what it is? Some of you might know. It's very, very rare here in Canada, anyways. And I was very interested in them a long, long time ago, and I finally found one. Now she's molting. I believe this one's a female. It's much smaller than my other one. And this, they got a couple of names. This one I call uh, a Sierra parakeet. They're also called a gray hooded parakeet or an, um, what's it called? Amara? A Amara? Amara. A-Y-M-A-R-A -A parakeet. And um, they're very tiny, very cute, and they sound like a parallette. And here's a little noise. Wait. Very, very quiet. You can barely hear them. They just make little like warbling sounds and they sound like a parallel and they kind of act like a parallel too. They're always on the go and they're kind of uh, nippy and they're kind of always just making that noise and, and always like, I don't know, they're kind of like a parallel, right? <laughs> but aren't they pretty? They got a long tail and they're mainly green. They have a dark gray, uh, you know, head, like the top part of the head and underneath they got a gray uh, breast. So this one's molten, it'll color out when it's finished molten. My other, this one is uh, five months old and the other one is eight months old. So I'll show you that one when I go into the bird room because he doesn't step up or anything. Sometimes he does, but I can't make him just step up. He'll fly to me here and there. Um, it is getting laid out. <laughs> it's taking me all day to film. So it is getting close to bedtime. So they probably will be in their cages, some of them. So just to let you know, I do have a bird room a video like a tour of my bird room I'll put the link down below so all my birds are out of the cage all day they all get chopped for breakfast and um, good food you know pellets afterwards and all that fresh water bathing they got lots of uh, out of cage time just in case you have any questions you can ask me down below and um, I'll show you I do have budgies I'm going to show you some budgies and canaries and one more of these and the borks that you didn't see in my video if they're awake out and about so this one I haven't named her yet, um, I'm not sure, the other one's called Galaxy, I named him Galaxy, so I'm trying to think of something that'll kind of go with Galaxy, like the Galaxy or the, uh, I don't know, atmosphere, or I have a lot of animals that already have like, you know, sunshine or uh, like previous animals, you know, Saturn, Pluto, my better names are those, so I'm trying to think of a name that'll kind of go with Galaxy, oh you need to be already? And when they nip, you can barely feel it. They're, they're, their bigs aren't strong. This is a nice, cute little bird if you can find any, depending on where you are. They're very, like, acrobatic, and they're always on the move. They got a lot of energy, always, always going, but they're very, very cute. Aren't you? You're so cute as you are. All right, so this is the last bird that I'll show you sitting on my finger, and we'll go to my bird room and see if we can get footage of, of those birds. It is getting to bedtime, so they might not be moving around, they might be in their cages. There are, there's a few of them I've already caught to put in their cages for bedtime. So let's go upstairs into my bird room. All right, so I decided to film the next day as there's more light in this room. I do have you know lights in my room, but when the sun is shining, the room is much brighter and my birds are more lively. So I just wanted to show you some of my budgies. Um, these two here are a sterling and treasure. A treasure is the yellow budgie on the top there. And sterling here, the gray budgie, is treasure's baby. All right, and this is Jack. Hi, Jack. And Jack is the budgie that I found outside and nobody claimed him, so I still have him. So that was three budgies. Oh, here's one over here. Here's one. Oh, this is Splash. This is Treasure's other baby. Hi, Splash. Okay, I don't want to go too close. They get nervous and scared. Uh, this one is Moonlight. Hi, Moonlight. Are you shy? 
Oh, well, there's Jack again. There's Moonlight. Moonlight only has one foot and he's doing great. All right, so here's Sky. He's really beautiful, got a really nice color. He's uh, really active. And this is River. He's an English budgie. He has to be separated from the rest of the flock because he's got a tumor on his wing and um, he can't fly and Jack was uh, beating him up pretty good. So he's separated with his buddy, Benny. And Benny is an English budgie as well. He's got a heart um, condition and the vet believes that River does as well. But English budgies are known for them to have bad hearts. You can see my previous video, I took uh, these two budgies to the vet and that's why they're separated because they were getting picked on by the other budgies and they're doing okay over here. Uh, Benny can fly but he's got limited, you know, he's got to limit his flying because of his breathing issues and his heart issues. I don't want him to, you know, just drop dead of a heart attack because he's flying but um, they're doing okay in here. Aren't they pretty? His feathers are much nicer than when I took him to the vet. And his sear is turning blue. His sear turned brown, but now it's turning blue again. So that's, that's good. Hey, you might do all right, eh, River? And here's Galaxy, my other Sierra parakeet. Galaxy is a male. I had him DNA. He is a male Sierra parakeet. He hasn't met my other Sierra yet, but he's going to soon. And uh, hopefully they'll get along and have a good time together. There he is, he's so pretty. And here's another one of my Borgs. She has the colorful rump. This is, uh, I think this is Ruffles. They all look the same, I sometimes forget who's who. <laughs> I have to look at their band. Come here, sweetie. But I can certainly tell from the um, colors of the rump here. See the blue and the green? When she opens her wings, come here, sweetie. You can see the colorful rump, but she's not going to right now. And this one is Raindrop. Raindrop has the most colors. Yellows, yellow in her wing, and um, blue, a blue rump. I think a little bit of green. I don't know if she'll step up. Come on, sweetie. Let me see, turn around a little bit. Look at the colors. Is that pretty? See the blue in the wings as well? Anyway, it's hard to film <laughs> their back tail, but this is uh, my other Borg. He's so pretty, yes you are. And this is Rosie, he's almost 12 years old. He actually got into a fight with my other Borg. So yeah, he does have a little bit of a sore nose. It's just dried up blood that I'm not gonna bother bother him by cleaning it up and his uh, he's molting, so he's a little bit uh, roughed up because he's got into a fight. So I have to keep him separate so he's not in the best shape right now, but they plucked his feathers and that's why he looks like this, but in a few weeks he'll be back to normal. And um, the other one of the other Borgs bit his sear. You see that? Yeah, he's doing all right though. You okay, buddy? He's gonna be 12. And this is one of my canaries. Uh, this is Song. She's half red mosaic canary. Her mother was just a variegated canary. She was uh, red and brown. But she looks like her father. I still have her father. And Song is about two years old. She's a female. And she actually sings. She sings really nicely. You know, not as well as a male, but she does, she does sing. Are you a pretty girl? And this is Sherbert. This is Song's father. He's uh, he's blind though, so I don't want to go too close. He can't come out right now with all the other birds flying around because he has no idea where he's going. So I just uh, let him out by himself. He's doing okay. He's eating and drinking and bathing and he actually does sing sometimes. So that's Sherbert. So those were all my birds, all 29 of my birds. Look at them all around me now. Oh, I'm in bird heaven. So let me know which bird was your favorite and let me know what kind of bird you have. You can put it down below in the comments section and make sure to go check out all those links in the description. I'll put a tour of my bird room in there and other relevant links. You can go have a look.
excuse me, don't bite my lip. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hello. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you won't miss any of my future videos. So we will see you <laughs> soon. Oh, no, okay, don't touch you. We'll see you soon. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.